Thai Prime Ministerial candidate Yingluck Shinawat has told Lateline that she's not being controlled by her brother. The younger sister of the exiled former Prime Minister Thaksin Shinawat has been appointed to lead the opposition into a landmark election on the 3rd of July. She says she and her brother think the same way, but she's an independent leader and she wants to bring peace to the politically divided country. She spoke with our Southeast Asia correspondent Zoe Daniel in Bangkok. Thailand's become a victim of its volatile political past. And ahead of next month's landmark election, Ying Lak Shinawat has a mantra that it's time to move forward. You don't say one side has to lose. I think the country has to win. That's the aim. Ying Luck is the youngest sister of former Prime Minister Thaksin Shinawat, who was ousted in a coup in 2006 and now lives outside Thailand to avoid jail for a conflict of interest conviction. She's been appointed to lead the opposition Pua Thai party into the poll under the slogan Thaksin thinks, Pua Thai does. But in an interview with Lateline earlier this week, her brother denied that she's his stand-in. She worked for me from the beginning. So I teach her, I train her. The working habit style is really exactly like me. Mm. But in describing her as a clone, are you saying that she's your puppet? That she's no. doing what you no. tell her to do? No. Clone is mean that the same culture, the same background, the same ideas the same attitude, the same thinking. 44-year-old Ying Luck has no political experience, but as leader of the opposition, she'll take number one spot on the ballot paper, relying on her political childhood and her background in business to lead the country if she wins. But I have to handle the customer, more than 20 million customers. So we live that custom, uh, for five or six years. So uh, I think from my experience, I, I think people will see and accept that. Politics is a hard game, though, particularly in Thailand. Are you strong enough? But we play a lot of politics since a long time, so I don't think Thai people will, will need me to just join the politics and play the politics as a daily basis. They need, they, they need me to execute and solve the country, solve the problem. Right now, the problem in Thailand is we have high debt, but we don't know how to earn the new source of revenue back to Thailand. This is my job. Your brother, Dr. Thaksin, calls you his clone. Who wins in an argument between you? What if you disagree with him? No, I think in terms of the idea, we exchange the idea. His cloning means that uh, he used to teach me in terms of thinking management style and some, because I used to work with him. But when we make decision, so I have to be myself to make decision. Thaksin Shinawat remains a divisive figure, loved by his supporters who believe he was unfairly ousted, hated by opponents who accuse him of being corrupt and power hungry. His sister says she won't use an amnesty to bring him back after the election if that's to the detriment of the country. I don't want to say amnesty right now because my objective is how we move, the, how we make the country move forward by reconciliation or the peaceful. So that's one will be the first objective. Amnesty will be the technique after that, so we have to meet that objective first. Dr Taksin says he wants to come back and support you and retire and become a lecturer and play golf. Mm -hmm. uh, do you think he can come back to lead the country at some point in the future, or do you think that's something that's in the past? That's his wish. I think he, because he has the missing Thailand and relationship, but in fact, for me, I'm uh, doing this job, so I have to handle everybody the same. Kun Yingluck, thank you for your time. Thank you so much.